Doug and I are here in Steamworks ready to announce the 2012 USA Pro Cycling Challenge, which will start here in Durango uh, in August. Uh, and uh, Fort Lewis College and the city are being wonderful partners. And Fort Lewis College and the city of Durango are working hand in glove to bring this to bring this great event off. And it is we basically have the start of a Colorado tour to France. So thank you for being here. The 2012 Pro Challenge, Pro Bike Challenge is a tremendous opportunity for Durango and beyond and we are ready for that challenge. One, two, three, four, so eight. We have eight of us coming over to represent Osprey, Pax, and Cortez. They don't sell tutus and Cortez. I tried today. I'm very jealous of all the tutus. We have some fun, doing some ska. Enjoy. Celebrate recycling. Yeah. It's a simple costume. Is that a head tutu? And a safe one. Yeah. I'll be better once we get to ska. I'm a pink tutu girl. What are you? What are you? Uh, I am mismanagement. So my job is to help have fun with a crowd of fun-loving Durango people. Fantastic. I should take them out right now, huh? Of mismanagement. Nice to meet you. Captain America. <laughs> you're getting decidedly beautiful. Because you're beautiful. You know, those dark hippies always hitchhiking in this town, I tell ya. I just want a free ride. We know that public art enhances our daily life, where we work, and where we play. And it's, it's an inspiration to everyone to see visual art. It improves the, the children's lives and our lives and our, and our community. The panel of nine selected the endurance. The piece was designed by Joshua Wiener. The piece that I created 
is really about motion. The experience that people have as they move around this piece is it's really based on a central focal point and change in perspective. So the audience will always move around this piece in a specific path and with that path of change I'm able to make the piece look kinetic. The way the, the bikers overlap it looks like they're jockeying for position that one's in ahead of the other based on uh, your positioning. And so they're all fixed, but it, it becomes a really active piece. Because the site means so much to me, and you know Durango just means so much to me, I, I really put a lot of energy into it. Each piece weighs about 700 pounds. It's half inch by half inch solid bars all welded together. I used 140 20 foot sticks of the half inch by half inch. I cut it up to around four to six inch pieces. There was 8,000 pieces. It took 24,000 welds. These sculptures are designed to be low maintenance. There's a, a, an element of rust that will protect the piece. So it, it progresses to a certain point and virtually stops. The idea is that the pieces will look good for a very, very long time. This is the 13th annual rail fest for the Durango and Silverton Narrow Gauge Railroad. But this year we're very excited to be cooperating with True West Magazine. So the name of our event, True West Rail Fest. I've been working on the railroad all the live long day. Railfest typically attracts an audience with uh, real specific interests in trains. Many international visitors that are here for the U.S. Pro Cycling Challenge have seemed to be very entertained by the Western heritage we have and the cowboy hats and the Victorian costumes and of course our heritage. The 2012 World Elimination Championships for the World Fast Rail Association. We have shooters here from all over the United States and Canada. Shooters online. Shooters set. True West Magazine is the co-host for the uh, True West Rail Fest, hopefully the first one of many. And we're the oldest national history magazine in the country. And we've been publishing since 1953, and we publish the true stories of the American West. Our headquarters are in Cape Creek, Arizona, but we came up here to Durango this weekend, have some fun on the train, and celebrate this wonderful, wonderful town. All four please, those of you with tickets for our presidential special this morning, we will be going out here in just a few minutes. We think that this event could be even bigger, and we just absolutely love the idea of combining trains with the Old West, because they're inextricably combined, and we love it. I'm just as fond of beauty as anyone can be With rosy cheeks and pearly teeth I dearly love to see I know someone has got them, this is what you I know a little early and she's got the money too Tonight is the first night of several downtown celebrations. The merchants are open, stores are lit up. Employees are in t-shirts. It's sort of a open house community grand open. excitement and a great vibe and uh, there are tons of stories of people having a great time meeting riders meeting new people and having a grand time in Durango I think that all of Durango should be proud for stepping up to the plate and putting on this incredible event for the whole town to enjoy
even though the last few years I've been, been wandering around the globe, friends and family here in Durango might think that Bicycle Bob is out there on vacation. Really, a lot of the times, all I see, or what I'm seeing here, I'm like in the parking lot. Yeah, maybe I'm in Rome, or maybe I'm in like Kuala Lumpur, but I'm in the parking lot working, like gluing wheels. So it's not, it's not really as glamorous maybe as, as your image of, of a pro mechanic's life might be. needs to come up right underneath your earlobe to keep your helmet on tight from side to side. of people have been busy making the campus beautiful. We are an active campus. We are a cycling campus. Uh, we love all of you for coming here and we're cheering all of you on, but I do have to say a special word for our favorite son. Tommy D, we love you. <laughs> I, I want to start and thank our great host, the city of Durango, and Fort Lewis College. I will tell you, for any American race that I've been part of, I've never seen a start city so well organized and so passionate. Uh, they, are gonna, they are gonna set the stage for the rest of the seven days, and they're gonna send a postcard to the world that we mean business. So, big round of applause to Durango. And this hasn't just been a weekend celebration, this has been, this has been a, a summer celebration of cycling, and, and I love it, and you can feel it when you walk down Main Street. It's, it's pretty cool. To come here to the recreational haven of the state and, and the world, I think, you can do anything outdoors for 365 days here in Durango. Um, it just made a lot of sense to see the, the overall start of the 2012 race here in Durango. I always thought Durango was part of the Western movies, so I didn't think it existed. Um, <laughs> Clearly it has, and uh, it's an absolutely fitting place to start the second edition of this great race. The state of Colorado was built for cycle races. It was a fabulous race last year, but in only four hours of being here, I can sense it's going to have a terrific send-off, which is the most important part of a stage race. If it goes right on day one, it goes right through to the end of day seven. This is really my hometown. I mean, I live in Boulder, but my heart is here, and Christian was giving me crap earlier in the year. He's like, Tom, you can only have so many hometowns. You know, you're from, you're from Connecticut, you know, you live in Boulder, you keep talking about Durango, and you also like Malibu. So, I mean, th this is it, though. I mean, you know, I've only been here a few hours, uh, tried to stay calm and, and, and chill out, but since, since I got here, you know, it's just, it's just fantastic, you know, starting really my cycling career here at Fort Lewis. And basically, I grew my cycling career here with the community. I mean, they showed me everything, the ins and outs, and, and uh, you know, just started getting turning into a better climber on Shalona. And, and I'm so blessed to be part of this Durango community, and, and I'm really looking forward to moving back here and, and uh, convincing my family. So if you guys see him around, just tell him, move back to Durango, please. <laughs> Uh, really, I'm, I'm sold. They, they, we just need to get the two kiddos and, and my mother-in-law on board and we're good. So I think my kids are in are, are pumped with the train and everything. So really just a mother-in-law. If you just see her, she, she's about, what is she, about f four, eight or so. She's pretty small, French looking, probably in the bread bakery eating the bread. Uh, just tell her to move back. Yeah, I love it here. Thanks, Durango, for having us. We're so pumped. 
Oh, we, have, we have great depth, you know, and then we've got, we got Tom, Tommy going from coast to coast with hometowns, you know. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it doesn't get much deeper than that. <laughs> so, <laughs> but, but uh, it's true. <laughs> I raced a lot in Colorado in my previous career as a mountain biker. Um, 18 years since I first visited Durango. Would you believe that? Hey. <laughs> um, my, I think that was my fifth time here in that in that period. And um, I just thought it's uh, such it's a great place to have a race. Well, last year was fantastic. Uh, you could just you could really feel, and it was clear that Colorado had been bursting at the seams and itching for a race of this caliber for. What is, was it, uh, 20, 23 years since the Course Classic? And, and they just came out with all that enthusiasm, and it was, it was amazing to be a part of. You know, we have a wonderful week of events that is leading up to the bike race on Monday. And it would not have been possible without the work of hundreds and hundreds of volunteers, and most particularly... 28 members of what we call the local organizing committee that have been working night and day for about six months. And I mean, so before we get started tonight, can we please have a huge round of applause for all those people that made this possible? Christian Vanderveld, Dave Zabriskie, Dave Morton, and uh, Charlie Regalius is the team manager. I've been so excited for this race. Um, it's given me an awesome opportunity to train specifically for this race. So I'm really pumped to be here and starting in Durango and, and with our team. It's just so awesome to, to have these guys here and for me to show them around. And, and uh, you know, unfortunately, we we're going go to go to the palace and get some burgers right before now. But couldn't quite make it happen, but hopefully we can make it happen tomorrow. But yeah, we're pumped to be here. And, and I, I, I love this place. This is, this is my home. Dave, um, will you be waiting for the time trial down towards the end of this race, or are you, are you looking to the form that Tommy Danielson's got, or even Christian Vanderveld? I'm going to go crazy every day here. I'm going for the, the big W's every day. I'm going to win this race. There's nothing anybody can do to stop me. And I love Durango way more than Tommy D. In your face, Tommy D. In your face. You had pretty good legs in Utah, and uh, were you using Utah to get yourself ready for this bike race? Yeah, I hate to admit that, but yeah, we definitely had Colorado on my mind during Utah, but... I think the song is Carolina on my mind. <laughs> I, I can't follow Dave. I don't... <laughs> yeah, Dave... <laughs> no, I've, been, I've, got an, I've got an idea. Dave, can you do me a favor? Could you interview Christian Vanderbilt? <laughs> Christian, obviously in Utah you had Colorado on your mind. <laughs> Because you didn't win Utah, so you could, you could possibly win this if you could take it from me. But I don't know if that could happen. What do you think? He forfeited the race to me. You all saw this. Let's not even have the race. I win. I think he's right. I think we should all stay right here in Durango. Ladies and gentlemen. Garmin Sharp. Well, I'm afraid the tour is a little bit like here. We have a lot of chiefs and like only a few Indians, so I guess I'm one of the Indians that has to work from clear to zero. There are seven other chiefs standing next to me, so... By, by the way, yet, yet it's Native American. <laughs> correct, correct. Here we go. I'm a Native American and these are all the chiefs. Chief, Chief Joseph and... Crazy horse and sitting bull and all of them. Tommy D, who told me this afternoon he wants to come back and live here. Where are you now? Oh, yeah. Carry on, Tom. I just want to say thank you to everybody for, for making this happen. All you guys out there are the reason why we're here, and I'm able to, to, to be here and on my team, and all the, the best racers in the world are able to see Durango. So, Durango rocks. This place is awesome. Let's have the best USA Pro Cycling Challenge that anybody's ever seen. And thank you to Durango for start kicking it off. Good night, everybody. First time ever Durango.
doing and I'm really enjoying it. We're going to be underway here shortly. George will be your official starter this morning or as we get things underway here at the U.S. Pro Challenge. Uh, they did a great job, uh, London did with the Olympics, and then as far as the Pro Challenge, Durango is an amazing community and they've been putting on bike races for a long time. They put on the first mountain bike world championships back in 1990 and um, I think they're going to have a great show today. This town has more Olympians, world champions and national champions pound for pound than any town in America. We've got a good place to start this bike races. No doubt about it. When we look at all the major races here in the U.S., I gotta say, this is by far the best start that we have seen on American soil right here in Durango. This is gonna be a hard one to top next year. We'll just have to come back. Oh, no doubt about it, you know Durango will come back a hundred times better. coming here beforehand, but uh, they are blown away. They, they, they love the, the fact that Durango knows how to party, and it doesn't matter if it's Tuesday night or Friday night, they're out there having a good time, and they were out there with them, I think. Maybe, maybe a little bit too much. Well, hey, good luck to you, Levi, as you defend here. Levi Leipheimer. exciting things I've ever been around. That's uh, certainly the first time I've seen the start of a bicycle race. Florida. Oh, 
side. They're going to Florida on both sides. Up to me. This is the spring. This is the spring. We have about 14 riders in that lead group. 14. Amazing to see those guys sprinting and how much space was between the front and the back of that line. My ballpark top of the head estimate was 10,000 people on Main Street alone and maybe more than that and a lot of these people are locals uh everybody's come out there's a lot of a lot of tourists and we can't buy the kind of tv coverage we're getting this week we were on the map but we're even more on the map now i think cycling has always been a big part of our community with the iron horse and uh, this just continues on that tradition goosebumps won't go away it's pretty pretty darn exciting race a lot of fun uh, just to see all these world-class athletes and how our community came together to pull this race off has been fantastic. We were one of the best cycling destinations in the entire world, in my opinion, but I think even more so now with the start of this race here. So we're just glad we could showcase Durango and all it has to offer.